Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Wednesday, so you know it's time for us to wing it. <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you a special presentation. So yes, it is Wednesday and normally we wing it at this time, but we're going to wing it in a different way today. <laughs> We had such a great response and so many fantastic comments from our Jeep Cam on Sunday's video where we took you on Iron Mountain Road as part of the Peter Norbeck National Scenic Byway here yep. in the South Dakota Black Hills. That we've decided to take you and show you another segment of that byway. And holy cow, y'all, if you think Iron Mountain Road was something, wait till you see the Needles Highway. <laughs> Yeah, pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> awesome, nerve-wracking, <laughs> nail-biting, hysteria, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, stick around. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the road we're about to see because this is some amazing stuff. Yes, it is. <laughs> if you saw our video last Sunday, then you went along with us on the Iron Mountain Road, which is another section of the Peter Norbeck National Scenic Byway. And the Needles Highway here is another piece of that road. There are several pieces of that road through Custer State Park, through the Black Hills National Forest, um, in this entire area. You're going to see us in this video move over from time to time to let uh, the bikes go by. We were not in any hurry. Not at all. We were out to enjoy the ride, enjoy the scenery, and see what was to come. And that's the way that, you know, this, these roads were designed to be enjoyed. Um, the Needles Highway, most of it runs uh, within Custer State Park, uh, unlike Iron Mountain Road, which uh, has a lot of it outside in the Black Hills National Forest. A lot of this is in Custer State Park that you're going to see. And it's just another incredible, incredible feat of engineering. In fact, this one preceded Iron Mountain Road. Uh, Peter Norbeck, who is considered the father of Custer State Park, uh, and also was a governor of South Dakota. Uh, he was actually from South Dakota um, and uh, graduated from the University of South Dakota. Hey, that's where my dad graduated. <laughs> that's <laughs> he's, cool. He's in good company, apparently. Yeah. Uh, he went on also to serve uh, in the United States Senate for several years, but somehow in the midst of all of that, he had time to come to the Black Hills and lay out this road personally on foot and on horseback. Yeah, and it has three tunnels to it, just like the other road. It does, and so he traversed this area, like I said, on foot and horseback to lay out the road in 1919, and then he went to engineers and said, hey, let's build this, and they said, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> they all told him it was impossible to build until he went to uh, his engineer that was helping him with the park, uh, Scoville Johnson, and uh, Mr. Johnson said, hey, if you can get me enough dynamite, I'll build you the road. Yep, I think he succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> so two years, and I think they said 150,000 pounds of dynamite later, Needles Highway was born. And it was born 100 years ago, right? 100 years ago, that's right. It's celebrating its centennial. Uh, actually, it was designed 100 years ago. Oh, okay. So it's centennial this year in 2019, just like Custer State Park is celebrating its centennial uh, in 2019. So this was a great time to visit. And we're going to pull over again and let some more folks by. Yeah, uh, we're getting close to one of the tunnels as well here, so we, we want them to be ready. Yeah, you know, and the thing is, I mean, if you see all this greenery, I mean, this is beautiful forest land, but we were here during what is 
the, the rainiest season in many years from what we've heard. Record rainfall in this area. And so everything is just so lush and green. Yeah, they say it's, it's greener than they've seen it in a long time. So we, we got lucky. Yes, we did. And uh, I'm sure it's a beautiful drive anytime. Uh, but, you know, just like we, we found during our trip here, um, you know, we started out as a beautiful day and the rain kind of came in towards the end of the video, you'll see that. But yes, when you see the yellow lines disappear like that, you know something awesome's coming up. So check this out. Well, the family's up there taking the pictures we come up. Wow, I don't know if I'd advise that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's photographic around here. Absolutely. But this is Iron Creek Tunnel, and it weighs in at 8 foot 9 inches wide and 10 foot 10 inches tall. And yes, all of the tunnels on the Needles Highway are smaller than all of the tunnels on Iron Mountain Road. That is hard to believe. So yeah, just because you can fit through on Iron Mountain doesn't mean you can necessarily fit through on needles. That's why I think it's a perfect place for a motorcycle. I mean, the, I think it's almost a requirement if you're going to Sturges that you got to come through here. And maybe that's why we're seeing so many folks. They are having a ball. That's for sure. It's fun to drive on the Jeep. I mean, in the Jeep, going on these roads is a lot of fun. I can just imagine. Uh, being on a bike. Yeah, that's for sure. But you do have to really pay attention because it's curvy and windy and up and down. But it's it's such a beautiful drive. Look how green, like we said. Look how green this is. Just really beautiful. Yeah, and you know, actually, they say that here in the Black Hills, about ninety percent of the Black Hills are uh, have. Pine trees, aspen, birch, fir oak, spruce, willow trees, just very heavily forested. And actually, I learned something new. We saw some pine trees that, that had yellow on the bark, and they actually call those yellow barks uh, because as they get older and more mature, their bark becomes more yellow. Yeah, there were several of those in the campground that we stayed at. Ah, I'd never noticed that before. So yeah. that was interesting. Yeah. I, and, was, I was wondering what it was. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they say the Black Hills, uh, they actually rise 4,000 feet above the grasslands that kind of surround them. They kind of, they're almost like an island. And uh, they, they have eroded down over time. They were once, I guess, a large dome. Uh, and uh, have eroded down and when we get further ahead you're going to start seeing some rock formations that are just unbelievable and, and just the way erosion has happened with wind and rain and everything it's just amazing the way mother nature works that's why another amazing thing about this ride you just see so many different things and we're not you don't see any animals on this but from time to time, we were seeing deer and stuff like that on the drive as well. Yeah, they say you could even, if you're really, you know, paying attention, you might even see something like a mountain lion over here. Wow. I wish we would have seen that. As long as we were in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so here's some of these rock formations we're talking about. Now, the rocks in this area, y'all, they say might be more than two billion years old. That's billion with a B as in boy. Wow. Yeah, they said that it's possible that it's, it's toward the center of the Black Hills, you might have some of the oldest rocks in North America. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people come out here to rock climb, you know, um, and that, that's a huge sport out in this area, especially once you get closer to the needles and the spires. And I mean, it's just, yeah, if you're into that, I would think you definitely got to come out here. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to do here. There's a lot of lakes around here too. There's a lot of fishing, hiking. I mean, it's, this is just a beautiful area. And you see, we're going up higher and higher here. I mean, Dude, you get I, into some decent elevation. I think my ears are popping right now just watching this. 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's a neat neat drive. I think we're coming up to another tunnel here. And this is the Needle's Eye Tunnel. dimensions of that tunnel? The needle's eye is only eight foot wide and nine foot nine inches tall. Yeah, it felt like we could touch each side of it if we would just stuck our hand outside the Jeep. And it looked like half of Sturgis was there at the end of the tunnel as well. Apparently, it's a uh, you know requirement that you got to go up and hang out at the Needle's Eye. <laughs> yep, a lot of picture taking. Yeah, and and that's I mean, again it, the scenery here. It's like everywhere you look, it's just jaw-droppingly beautiful. And there are a lot of photography companies out there taking pictures of all the bikes going by. So I'm sure they you know. They can get their, they can buy pictures of themselves riding, riding the road. Make for a pretty awesome photo. Oh yeah. Or they could watch our video as well. Well, that too. <laughs> hey, if you're one of these bikers and you see yourselves, let us know. Drop a comment. And, uh, yeah. You know, you never know. And there were some bicyclers. <laughs> <laughs> a whole different kind of biker, and that is hardcore, man, to be on a bicycle on the Needles Highway. Yeah, I'm it's... telling you, he looked enthusiastic, but she, not so much with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> car, I'm with her, too. Car, yes, bicycle, not so much. And now we're coming into Sylvan Lake, and this is one of the recreation areas within Custer State Park. And great lake to hike around. There's a campground up here. There's a general store and all kinds of funness going on right now. Funness. Funness. That's, that's a good word. I like that. <laughs> yep, now we're heading out of the park here, yep, right? This is the part uh, along Needles where you actually leave Custer State Park and uh, you head down the highway just a little bit and into the... Uh, Black Hills National Forest, uh, you skirt the um, Peter Norbeck Wildlife Refuge, uh, you uh, also are not far, you're right on the fringe of the Black Elk Wilderness. Oh wow. And I mean, it, it this, this part of it kind of reminds you if you've ever been in, in Colorado, because it was high up you know there was you were way up high so they have rails here which is a nice thing <laughs> and i love this wall right here yeah it kind of reminds me of the work the ccc would do yeah that's for sure and now this is hood tunnel and uh eight foot nine inches wide nine foot eight inches tall so a little bigger than the last one Yep, it, it was uh, it was easier to get through, not as long, but still, again, the, these switchbacks here are unbelievable. You can see the motorcycles down below. There. Yeah, they're not running next to us. We're about to pass them. They're going the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, these, these roads here were crazy, but again, I love the walls and stuff up there made of stone. Very, very beautiful. And you know, I'm glad to have this video because I was driving and I was so focused on the turns and watching where I was going and what was around me that um, I'm, I'm seeing some of this stuff for the first time, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are because you had to really focus on driving. 
there is no doubt and it's starting to rain here too this is uh towards the end of our drive and and uh luckily we got good weather to this point and uh so we felt very fortunate the weather here changes like in the drop of a hat yeah almost like in texas almost like in texas so that was a heck of a drive again mom what'd you think wow <laughs> this drive was awesome scary awesome and beautiful. I agree to all those things. <laughs> Especially once it started raining. <laughs> yeah. that, that's when I closed my eyes. So if I missed a little bit, at least I can watch it on the video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already joined us, please hit that subscribe button and join on for the adventures. Until next time, y'all, keep on winging it. <laughs> Safe travels. And happy camping. And y'all come back now, you hear? Bye! Bye. Bye.